think we are live. Hopefully, hopefully this is working. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second to boot up and to post, but welcome everyone. Today's a little bit of a different live stream and I feel like I'm getting right back in. Oh. Something just fell. No, I don't know what just fell on the ground. Um, hopefully that doesn't matter. We're having some technical difficulties today. That's why we started the stream a little late um, because today's stream is actually a little fancy. Whenever I do these like crafty streams, um, we have to have a two camera setup. And so I had to get the GoPro all set up and everything with that, but we finally got it. So thanks for um, being patient and for hanging on there. I am just posting really quick on the Instagram to let everyone know, but we are doing our cozy diamond art painting today. And I'm so excited about this because you know how much I love paint by numbers and yesterday I was at the craft store for a different video that's going to be coming out but I saw the diamond art painting section and I know I have gotten some people on my live stream before who really wanted another craft live stream and I, I've seen these and I've always wanted to try it and I know you guys are interested in them too and some of them some of you have done diamond art before so we're gonna do it today grab your own craft grab your own paint by numbers diamond art crochet whatever your craft may be come and we'll do it together or if you're just watching for fun we we're gonna chat along grab your favorite snack um, I got some stream beats playing in the background, so we've got the vibe all ready to go. And let me know if the music is too loud. Like, can you guys hear it? And is it competing with my voice? Like, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. But anyways, let me show you my fancy little setup going on over here. So this is my face. And... Here we have the GoPro camera, <laughs> so fancy. And then when we're doing our diamond art, we've got that on the big screen. Ooh, ah. So let me show you, wow, you can see your little comments right there and everything. <laughs> this is what my desk looks like, desk view. Um, I am gonna be breaking out this big bad boy though to put the diamond art on because it'll need a flat surface. My keyboard is not that surface. But anyways, this is the painting we're gonna be doing today. This is what it looks like. I wanted to go for more of a nature-themed painting um, because you guys just know how much I love like outdoorsy stuff, travel stuff. My house are these colors, like the greens, the blues. Um, even the painting and my the back of my room are those colors too. So I decided to pick this one up, but if I really like this one and you guys really want me to do some more diamond art, I'd be down. I don't know how hard this is compared to paint by numbers. I have not opened it. I have not tried it, even though I've been tempted so many times to, um, because I wanted to get my first reaction, first impressions on the live stream. So Anyways, let me read some of your chat. Abby says, I'm going to be drawing in the live stream. Okay, yes, if you guys do any drawing, any crafts, and you have an Instagram, you should definitely take a picture by the time when the live stream ends. Take a picture, post it, and tag it. Tag me in it so I can see, because I want to see what you guys have been working on too. My first ever live stream will welcome Roy. That's awesome. We're glad to have you here. Mar Mariana's random room says, I'm so excited for this live stream. I'm so excited too. Kate says, please give a hint on exciting video coming out the first week of April. Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't know how much I'm supposed to say. And I hate when YouTubers are like, I'm keeping such a big secret and I can't tell you what it is. But uh, Okay, so it is coming out. First, it, okay, 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 okay. I'm just so excited. I don't know, I don't know. Um, so it is coming out on April Fools, but it is not an April Fools Day joke. It is 
serious. It's the real deal. And in that video, the little photo that I posted on Instagram, it had so many clues in it. It had so many. So, if you remember what that picture looked like, there were clues hidden within the picture. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say, because I don't want to spoil or reveal too much. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, ooh. Mariana's random room also said I just finished my first diamond art and just started my second one Okay question for you then are there different levels of diamond art difficulty because I know that there are Different levels of paint by numbers difficulty like some paint by numbers have really big squares So it's easier to fill in and some are like super detailed and those ones are a lot harder Or if you have to like mix the paints those ones are a lot harder so, is that, does that translate to this craft, or is it all kind of like the same? I don't know. I know Drona had one of these before, and I think she liked it. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, hi, Darcy! Toka says, I'm doing a diamond painting as well. What kind of diamond art are you doing? What's, what's the painting look like? And... Okay, I think I'm all caught up on questions and comments. Oh, okay. Humbly Homemade said, kind of square drills are harder than circle drills. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Is there different shapes of... Also, why does this look like it was sewn? This doesn't even look like diamonds. Like, if you look closely, if you look closely at this box, it looks like thread. Mariano's random room says, there are definitely different levels. My brother does small ones that are a lot easier and there's a size that is about how big yours are. Then there are jumbo ones that take a long time. Okay, so looking at this without us opening it, how hard do you think this one's gonna be? How hard based upon this like picture right here, this tiny little picture? Is this a beginner friendly? <laughs> or is this like expert mode? <laughs> I hope I got the right one. Toga says, mine is space themed, lol, and I'm not that far along. Oh, I love the space theme though. You guys know how much I love all things astronomy. I'm trying diamond art, any advice? Well, Leia, I can't give you advice because I'm trying it for the first time too, but if anyone chat has some advice, actually, yes, please, please give me some advice. Because, okay, let me just say, when I do paint by numbers, I usually do one color at a time. So I would go with like shade one of blue and I fill in all of those shapes with that color. Should I do the same thing with this or should I just go by line? Like what's the strategies here? What do you guys do? How should I go about this? <laughs> Ava says it's about, or Eva says it's about medium difficulty. It will just take a while. Okay, what's the size? It says it on the box. The size is a 12 by 12 inch. 12 inches by 12 inches. It's like a ruler by a ruler. <laughs> it's going to be hard to go with one color at a time. Oh, okay, good to know. Very good to know. All right, should we open it? I think we should open it. Oh, let's get the paint cam. I'm gonna move my keyboard. And let's see what comes in this box. Wow, I feel so professional. I love this little setup right here. Okay, if you see your chat, if you see your comment in the chat, just say, hey. Okay, here we go. I've been waiting so long to, oh, it's taped. No, I don't have scissors. No, okay, one minute, this is gonna... Here we go, here we go. Also, it, once again, is the music good? Let me know, yeah, this is unboxing time. Okay. Wait, there's the camera. You guys get first peek. What is this? Okay, so here... Okay, that's the box. 
Oh boy, I am so overwhelmed with this. So this looks like the canvas. <laughs> I'm the worst at opening things. I literally just mangle them. Like, if I need to keep packaging nice, it is so hard. Okay, so uh, now that I've opened that up. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, this isn't huge. This isn't huge. But it is so rolled up. Should I have, like, flattened this before? Girl, this is gonna be so hard to keep straight. Come on. <laughs> okay, so... I'm assuming that this plastic... Oh. Okay, so this plastic is protecting the stickiness on it so far. So I see what you guys say where it's gonna be hard to do it color by color because I would, like, really have to peel back um all the layers to get to the colors what do all of these symbols mean there's like a little key right here oh my goodness <laughs> so this is kind of different from paint by numbers because paint by numbers just has like literally the numbers this one has symbols on it oh no you guys know how much i don't like to read it Instructions. It comes with a whole pamphlet. Oh no. Um. Oh, oh my gosh. I I I, I did this because I want to be cozy and relaxed, and this is giving stress. Um. Okay. Peel back the protective film from the first area to be worked. Do not remove the protective film from the whole design. Gradually peel it back as you begin to progress. Wash hands before working. I don't want it though. I just use the bathroom, it's fine, I wash my hands. Okay. The charted area is pre-printed with a special adhesive. Blah, 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 blah. Identify the first symbol on the chart to be worked. Locate the symbol, dots design. Okay, pour the diamond R into the notes. Do I really need to read this? I trust that you guys, I trust that you guys will tell me what to do. <laughs> do not wash iron or dry clean. Literally, how are you supposed to get this flat though? Flatten out, flatten out. What do you guys do? Tape it down with painter's tape to flatten. Okay, good. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna get this big bad boy out. Okay. We got this rubber band thing, but I'm gonna need, yeah, I'm gonna need some painter's tape. Spencer, if you are watching this live stream, Will you please bring me some painter's tape? <laughs> or if you can hear me from the other room. One order for painter's tape, please. Okay, well, hopefully he brings me that if he hears me. Let's open up this little packet. ASMR. <laughs> oh, there are so many little gems. Oh man, how am I gonna keep all this? How am I gonna, how am I? Oh wow, okay, oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, these are all of our gemstones we have. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like the, the black ones. We've got different shades of blue. Ooh. It's very sparkly. Okay. Wow, there's so many different shades of blue right here. We've got pink and green. Okay, why did this one come in like Zot's packaging though? You know like Zot's the candy? How they're all kind of attached? These came all attached and the other ones didn't. That's interesting. Okay, so it gave us a tiny bit of white and a lot of this like brown color. Hopefully it, give us, it gives us more than we need because what if you lose one and then like you're basically screwed because it's like a Lego piece. Like if you lose it by accident and then you can't finish the, the, the project. Oh my my. Okay. Ooh, a pencil grippy. <laughs> okay. This is so different than paint by numbers. Okay. So I'm assuming this is the sticky thing. No, what is this? 
I thought this was gonna be like sticky to help you stick the gemstones on, but it's not. What, what is this for? Anyone know what this pink tube is for? Audrey, you need to have containers to keep your drills in or they will get mixed up. What is your drills? What are the drills? Oh, there's a lot of these little, like, little plastic bags. I think that's to put the gemstones in when you use them. And also, what are these? Oh, those are to do multiple rows at once, I'm assuming. But what is this one? It's like a little mini squeegee brush. <laughs> Okay, I feel like such a noob here. I know I pour the gems that I'm currently using into here, right? But if I'm using like multiple at the same time... It's wax, you peel the plastic off? Oh. Oh, it is! <gasps> You're so right! Okay, so I'm assuming what I do... Is I take the wax and I... Maybe I should read these instructions. <laughs> okay... Where does it say that? <sighs> Pour the diamond dots into the tray. Twist open the diamond dots wax caddy. Peel away the clear film, just like you said. Place the head of the diamond dots stylus firmly into the wax several times before picking up your first diamond dots. Um, pick up the diamond dots from the diamond tray. Place it into the spimble. The adhesive makes it easy to place. Continue the process working one shade at a time. It's recommended to start at the bottom edge of the design and work up. When you're not working on your project, place the protective film back over the chart to protect it from dust. Okay. Right, am I good? Am I good to go? If you swish the diamonds back and forth on the little container, they all face the right way, so it's way easier. Oh, okay. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous to start this? I feel like I'm gonna mess up. Okay, I peeled off the protective layer. I'm gonna put it in the container. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, we have that. Okay, so it said to start from the bottom up. It literally just fell off of this. Um, do I not have tape? I might have to text Spencer for some painter's tape. I think that'll be easiest. Okay. All right. First, first color is gonna be this dark purple circle. So that's gonna, huh? <laughs> Which one is that? Okay, I gotta use, I gotta show you guys. Okay. Oh! Hello there. Is this what you want? Yes! Can you help me tape this? Okay. This thing is so wrinkly. She is wrinklicious. Okay. We might need to tape it up top too. Like right here. This is a project. This is so different than paint by numbers. Okay, so yeah, tape the top. Also, this is Spencer's board because he took an art class in college. So he's basically a professional from this one class. <laughs> no. Does this need to stay uncovered? Do you need to see that? Oh, um, is this the same as this? Wait, let me see. Wait, I gotta get this as flat as possible. Except don't put it over the plastic. Cause I'm gonna need to peel that up a little. Perfect. Okay, now the other side. I'm sweating. From what? <laughs> I think I'm nervous. We need to turn down the AC, in, or turn up the AC in this house. <laughs> Okay, this other side. How do you prevent it from not being super wrinkly? Yeah, you might not be able to, really. Oh, wait, I am gonna have to read the symbols, though. So. There you go. Okay, and then... I guess the bottom's fine? Yeah, probably. <laughs> How do you make it not super wrinkly? 
You'd have to, like, put it under something flat and heavy for a while. We are not doing that. Yeah, you don't got Okay, to will you that. tell me what you think this is, though? Like, do you see this first, like, little circle? Which one do you think that is? Do you think it's this? The R? No, the circle. Do you think it's this one? There's no other circle ones. Yeah. This looks like purple, though, but this one this looks black. That looks about black to me. It looks the same as these ones up here, and that's circle. Wait, don't use tape roll it the other way. Wait, what? Don't use tape? Wait, don't use the tape? Don't use tape. Roll it the other way. Roll it away from you. They're saying roll it the opposite way that it was rolled to try to unwrinkle it. It will get less wrinkly. You get the diamonds on because it'll make it heavier. Oh, it will get less wrinkly when you get the diamonds on because it'll make it heavier. What should I do? I think it's... Do you think I should just go with it? You can use the tape. I've used it before. I think it's fine. Should I just YOLO? Just go for it? I'm hoping that, the, yeah, as I put the gemstones on, it'll, like, kind of flatten out. Yeah. This is the alpine scene, <laughs> for anyone wondering. Have fun. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. So we're gonna go with A03. So we gotta find which gemstone corresponds with A03. I would think it's this one, but it's not. <gasps> Perfect! It's the one that I said I really liked in the beginning. So, okay, I pour it into here, right? Pour it into this tray. Oh my gosh, I can't open anything. Here we go. Okay, I just pour them all? Like, is that the move or just to do some? Ooh, it's so pretty! I'm gonna start with just a couple of them. And I'm gonna move the rest of these out of the way. Just a little, okay. Okay, and then you said to shake it so they all face the same way. Cause I want like this sparkly edge to be on top, right? Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay, wait, I see what you guys are saying. I think I poured too much though. But like, if you look in the little lines, they all get like trapped in there and they're facing up. Okay, I'll start off with those ones. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so what do I do first? What is this end piece? Can I, oh. Can I do this? Is that what that is for? Like that? And then I can just do like three at a time? What does this squeegee thing do? Then pour the loose ones back in the packet? Okay. Oh no, I'm already getting the diamonds everywhere! I'm losing diamonds! I'm losing diamonds, everybody! Okay. And then I'm gonna pour the loose ones. <gasps> so easy! Okay, I think this is okay for now. Okay. <gasps> okay, now we'll put this little squeegee tip thing on. Yes, the squeegee thing is like to line up the diamonds on your painting, it's kind of useless. Oh, to like push it so they all line up. Oh, okay, it straightens it, okay. <laughs> okay, should I go with the, should I just go with the single tip first? Or should I go for like, the row, because we have a few in here that's like all in a row, I think, of the same color. Yeah, the bottom is pretty much all the same color. So should I, should I just skip to this big bad boy right here? Single tip? Okay, we'll, we'll do the single tip first. So it said to stick it in here and like move it around. Oh, did I do that right? Am I supposed to take wax up with it? I don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just making holes in this, like... Oh, I think I did it. Oh, I think I just took with the wax out. Okay. I'm such a noob. Think I did it? I think that'll work. You don't need too much. Don't move it around. 
This is probably so frustrating for you guys who like have done this a lot and you're like, oh my gosh. So newbie. Okay, we got our little diamond. We got our painting. Oh, okay. I just stuck that on the GoPro. Love that for me. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is enough that you can see. We're gonna peel back. The first layer. I'm gonna take my diamond. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, are you so proud? I did it. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna put it on. <gasps> I did it! You guys can't even see! <laughs> you guys literally couldn't see what I just did. Oh, this is gonna get addicting. I already know this is gonna get so addicting. Like, when you're watching a movie or something. Like, how hard do I have to push this onto this? You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, how hard do I have to push on here? This is so calming. Okay, love. Love this. Oh, 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 I'm kind of messing up. I'm kind of messing up. Okay, let me show you what I've done so far, my progress. <laughs> this is the hardest angle to show you guys. Okay, do you see the sparkles right here? Do you see the, do you see the sparkles? <laughs> do you see the sparkles? Please tell me it's beautiful. It's blurry, no! <laughs> you don't have to push it all. Oh, okay. You don't have to press it out all that hard. Okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 good. Very good. Okay, continuing on. All right. Now that I've got, now that I've got the gist of this, I literally feel like I need to put my hair up. That was so stressful for some reason. It's a little stressful in the beginning when you're learning something new. Like, I don't know. Does anyone feel the same way as me? Like when you're first diving into a new craft, like it's a little stressful because you don't want to mess it up. But you've always like wanted to try it and get into it. Like, for example, not only this, but when I first wanted to learn how to crochet, I just have big goals and aspirations. Like, I don't want to start off with the basic, the basic things. Like, I don't want to do my, my little, what are they called? Square cup holders or whatever. I just want to get into making a stuffed animal, skip all the basics, go into the pro stuff. Um, so I tried, you guys know how much I tried to learn how to crochet, but I couldn't get past turning <laughs> because I don't think I was making an extra, um, loop at the end. And so every time I turned it, it would make it a triangle and so my crochet would just end up getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it was a triangle and not a straight line so that was i gave up on that i still have all the stuff like i haven't completely given up but i have not worked on that for a while because i would try to do the, my lines and fail every time undo my whole thing and be like oh it's going to be different this time and i would do it again and end up absolutely not changing anything. And so, yeah. I don't know. <sighs> Let me know if you feel the same. <laughs> it will grow back. <laughs> um, I crochet and knit. Okay, see, those are the things I want to learn. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys of a video idea I or a video that's going to come up. I haven't filmed it yet. But, well, I've started the process of filming it. So I want to do a video where I make my own clothes. Like I sew my own clothes. But guys, I have zero sewing experience. Like I think I made a video 
a while back of me learning how to use a sewing machine for the first time. But I did like the most simple thing, right? Like a pillowcase, like something super simple. This time though, and I've, I've forgotten, I've forgotten everything since that video. That video was years ago. I've forgotten everything on how to use a sewing machine. I don't even have a sewing machine. My mom has one, and so I don't get to practice it every day. Plus like, I don't know. I don't really have a reason to use a sewing machine. Um, so yeah, zero practice, zero experience. And the other day I just decided I want to try to make my own clothes. And so I literally went to the craft store the other day. That's where, I, that's where I bought this because I was there for that video. And then I saw this and I was like, that would be so much fun. Um, also, these are not straight. I am making them all wavy, but anyways, yeah, that's where I saw I saw this and I bought a pattern for the outfit I want to make. I'm gonna make a dress. It says it should be easy, but like, is that in terms of easy for if you have prior sewing experience? Like if you if you already know how to sew, it'd be easy, or if you've never picked up like a sewing needle in your life easy. Cause that's the level I'm on. <laughs> I'm on that sort of level right now, so. We'll see. Okay, let me show you my row so far. So beautiful. Oh, you can kind of see it now. Got the sparkles. It's a little bit harder to see it on the darker gems. I'm just hoping by me like lifting up this plastic sheet, like all this stickiness is not gonna get unsticky, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Andre says, sewing machines low key scare me. I feel like I would cut my finger. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna circle back to that. I, the next comment says, if you put the diamonds in the wrong spot, you can kind of push them into the into the right spot. Okay, good to know. I think that's where the squeegee comes in. Um, but circling back to accidentally sewing your fingers together. So my mom actually used to work in like a sewing factory, I guess. She would like, she worked on like a button snaps machine where she would like, you know, snap buttons onto different articles of clothing or bags or whatever. And one time she was working at the machine and she accidentally snapped her two fingers together. Like her, I think it was like these two, these two fingers. So they were sewn together with a button snap. She had to go to the hospital. <laughs> for it so that is what I'm trying to avoid here not to scare anyone because that is like not that's not a normal regular thing that happens to everyone but like after hearing that story I'm like do I really want to sew <laughs> I'm not working with button snaps though like the the sewing project that I bought requires three different fabrics so that's a little bit more complicated but I don't have to work with buttons so that's nice Okay, I did this little row here. Let's go over here. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna be filming that video probably next week. And I hope it really turns out because I've learned that making your own clothes isn't any cheaper really than just buying it. Like correct me if I'm wrong, but fabric is expensive. And maybe if you thrift your fabric, it would be cheaper. But I just bought my fabric from the craft store because like literally I have no experience. I had to have like one of the workers like help me pick out like what fabric would be best and help her have me cut the fabric and everything. So just learning. But if I ever got like good at it and I actually liked sewing, I'm thinking like maybe I would like do it more often. I don't know. It'd be kind of, it would be a good skill to have to know how to make your own clothes if you ever needed to or ever just wanted to. Like that's a cool skill to have and I wish I could have that skill. So we will see next week if that will be a viable hobby for me or not. <laughs> but in the meantime, I think I think this is going to be my new hobby. I should I hang this up in my house and it's done like Okay, for those of you who have done diamond art before and have completed a diamond art painting, do you hang yours up when you're done? What do you do with it? And if you hang it up, is the paper like perfectly straight or is it like all bumpy? 
Like, I don't know what to do. Do you put it in glass? Because with, like, with normal paint by numbers, it either already comes on the canvas or you just gotta stretch it onto the canvas. Is that what a, like, you can't do that with this though. You can't stretch it or else all the beads would fall off, I'm assuming. Yay, we got, this is gonna be slow progress. It's gonna look like I'm literally doing nothing. <laughs> I need hobbies, hobby ideas. All I do is play Roblox. <laughs> well, Roblox is pretty fun, um, but I don't know. There, it, I feel like there's a there's a hobby for everyone. It just depends on what you like doing. Like, are you more into like the crafty hobbies, sporty hobbies, um, like reading? Video gaming is a hobby too. Like, and you can have multiple hobbies. Um, I feel like I am more of like a crafty hobby girl, except I'm not like super good at crafts. So they have to be easy crafts. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, I feel like I am a pretty creative person, but when it comes to art, I'm like painting or drawing freehand, I am not creative because I can't picture in my head something and just be able to draw it. Like that is... That is talent. I don't have that talent, but I wish I did. Origami, I just saw someone put in the comments origami. That is, yeah, that's a good hobby. Like there's there's so many different ones. Um. <sighs> Maza says, my mom just said, my mom said just stop wasting your time putting diamonds on a paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. I mean, it is putting diamonds on a paper, but if this is your way to like unwind and relax for the day, I don't really see any harm in it. Like everyone has to have their unwind slash relaxation time, you know? Um, like at the end of the day, what do you do to unwind? Some people like to paint. Some people like to watch TV or YouTube. Some people like to play video games. Some people like to read. So it's like, what do you do when you don't really want, like when you want to turn your brain off and just chill, like what is your go-to activity? For me, I say most of the time is just like watching YouTube, but it's things like these that I like doing once in a while too, because at the end, like I have something to look at. Like, I don't know, it's like, wow, I made that. This is cool. And then I can just like, I don't know. It's more of like a physical thing. Um. Oh, the sound is cutting in and out. Uh oh. I'll have to see. I'll have to have Spencer watch it. Maybe fix it. Let me, here. Mm, I'll text him and see what he thinks and if he can help fix it. Uh, Mariano's Rain Room says, I do diamond art or making bracelets and, and doing perler beads. Yeah. It's really hard to hang them because diamond arts are not typical frame sizes. I go to a frame shop and get mine framed. It's not too expensive if you're only getting one framed. Oh, so you get yours like custom framed. Okay, yeah, mine's a 12 by 12 inch design, so... I have to see, this is like a perfect square. So I'd have to see if there was like a perfect square frame because most frames are like rectangle. Should I go in with this three, uh, this three little gemstone thing and see if it works? I'll do it in the next one. I got two more and then I'm gonna try it out. One. This thing works so well with picking up the gemstones. I always wondered how people got to stick, and now I see. Okay, let's do these little three by threes and see if we can do it. Okay, let's see what Spencer said. First, he says, he says it sounds okay. Okay, we got the little pink thing. Oh. How do I get it to like stay in? 
That's like a huge, huge clump of wax. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I got it. That took out so much of my wax though for this. I hope that works. Um, Lana says, either play cozy games or make something that's made out of craft pipe cleaners or drawing. Yeah, also like baking, like some people like to bake and that's their hobby. Okay, we're gonna try this. Oh, this, that's what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna take it. Oh, whoa, that's so many gemstones. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my gosh. Wait, how many? That's more than three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I even have seven in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go for it. I don't know how well you can even tell, but we're gonna go for it. It worked! I don't know why I'm surprised. It's literally what the tool is supposed to do, but it worked. It put all of them in a row, so that's nice. Um, I feel like this would be hard to do, though. To, like, I don't know. I feel, it sounds like you, like, seven is probably your max. I'm gonna try it again. Try it on this side. Oh no. Oh no. I kind of messed it up. I gotta move it. Okay, I don't know if that's... Oh no. <laughs> I don't think it's on the circle. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> It wouldn't be your first time without messing it up, right? Like, it's a little wonky, but no one's gonna notice. No one will know. They won't see the underneath of it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. I'm excited to try a different color. Like, trying the new colors are so fun. Like, with paint by numbers, I'm like, yay, next color! And it feels like such a big accomplishment. I don't know why. It's like leveling up in a video game almost. Also, speaking of video game, guys, the last time we played Disney Dreamlight Valley, I had so much fun that I kept playing it off stream. Like you guys said I could, because I even asked you, I was like, is it okay if I play this off stream and level up a little bit so that when we do it again next time, like we have more interesting things to do. I was so addicted to that game, like, we leveled up a lot, let me just say. We have unlocked a lot of characters and have gone to a lot of new places. So the next time we'll play, we definitely will have new content to show you guys. Um, I figured out, like, just how to do everything a bit better. So that was my uh, long video game obsession. <gasps> yes, we completed that row! Okay, we get a new color! So the next color is R and it looks to be like this brown one. This is what the row looks like so far. Oh, you can kind of see it. There you go, that's what we did. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna find A, A16. Oh, so I'm gonna just pour all this in here. Oh my, the beads are getting everywhere. How am I gonna remember what number this was though? Like, do you guys label your bags? How do you know? Maybe I need a Sharpie. Oh no, oh no, I think I dropped one in my carpet. I really hope they give you extra beads. There's probably such a better way of putting it in the bag than with your fingers, but that's what's happening right now. Be careful with the beads, no. Oh, you use a label maker? That's fancy. That is super fancy. I don't know if I, do I have a label maker? 
I don't think I have one. I think my mom has one though. Just dump it. I did dump it, but they're like stuck in these little latches right here. Okay, where did it go though? I think it is lost in my carpet. So I really, really hope I don't need that one. Um, okay. So this was A03. I think if you run out of diamonds, you can get the same exact color at a store. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, with paint by numbers, girl, you cannot get the same color at the store because I have tried. My paints have gone crusty dusty and it makes me so sad. Yeah, we've we've already talked about this problem. But I'm I'm glad that unlike paint by numbers, the gemstones can't get crusty dusty. It's just if like the stickiness of the board ever got unsticky. I'm gonna get a Sharpie so we can write on the bag. Right, A03? Okay. Ta-da! All right, next color was... What was it again? R A16. Let's try to find R. It's right here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm opening up like two bags at once. Eesh. Okay. A16. Okay, I'm just gonna pour a little bit, like you guys said, just a tiny bit, we don't need that much. And then you shake it, and they're all supposed to line up in this dish to make it easier for you to pick them up. Okay, what have you guys done? Um, like, what are you guys doing this weekend? Do you guys have any fun weekend plans? Fun Friday, Saturday, Sunday plans? Uh, <gasps> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! gonna find this in my carpet oh my gosh oh my gosh this one had a lot in it that means that we're gonna need this color a lot no no I literally cannot waste anymore now I can't that was so devastating oh my gosh okay um I gotta get literally every single bead I can out of here. We gotta do some cleanup on aisle desk. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Okay, we've got it all over my pants. Oh, I can see the floor sparkling. Oh my gosh. That was so tragic. That was so tragic. Rest in peace beads, that is right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know what? Something like this would happen to me. Like, it's, the, it's like the same with cooking. I can't have a normal bake-off. Like, I, I'm not even trying to make things like this happen. Like, this, this just happens to me. Oh my gosh. What a mess. It's like trapped everywhere. Oh my gosh, my floor! <laughs> my floor is so sparkly! I'm trying to save them. I'm trying my best to save them. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. What do you guys do when this happens? <laughs> I'm like literally getting off the chair to like clean this up. Um... <laughs> 
doesn't help if you can see my carpet. My carpet has like the same colorings. It's not like I just spilled like a neon green bead on the carpet. No, I, I, <laughs> it's the same color. At least it's a little bit shiny so I can tell where it is, but. I bet you guys when you sign when you uh, clicked on this live stream, you did not you did not click on for this. You didn't think this was gonna happen, so that's it's really fun and exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, my question is how do you prevent this from happening? Because I like I, this is gonna if this happens again, that's gonna be so sad. This would have been better if I have spilled it onto tile or hard, hardwood floor where I could see the beads because I'm going to be finding these little beads on the ground for ages. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yep, there's another one. There's another gem of my diamond art bead <laughs> on the ground. Or maybe when I run out of gems, I'll just be like, go find them in the carpet. I can't vacuum them then until this painting is done or else I might vacuum up my precious gems. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Now my my painting is contaminated with floor gems. <laughs> Not the floor gems. Okay, is anything else on the floor shiny? So much. There. I wonder how many I spilled. Like literally, was that like a hundred? You're gonna finish the pick in 20 years? No! <laughs> no! Don't curse me with that, please. <laughs> you know what, it does take me like a solid six months to a year to finish a, a paint by numbers. Can you even like hear me? <laughs> this has gotta be the funniest angle. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyone that's joining the live stream right now, please fill them in. Please fill them in on what just happened. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wonder how fast Dime Dart would take me um, if things like this didn't happen. <sighs> so tragic. I like literally was speechless when that happened. I didn't even know what to say. I was like, you're kidding me. Please tell me I'm not the only one that this has happened to. Like, am I really that clumsy? Or, or have you accidentally done this before too? Oh, so tragic. It doesn't help that these beads are like minuscule. Like, let me show you what one, one bead looks like. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even know that was on my hand. Like literally it's a dot. It's a tiny dot. <laughs> You could just vacuum the area and then get them out of the vacuum box. You know what? That's a genius idea. Except my vacuum is not empty. It is currently full of nasty lint and dust and hair and food and all the things you get from the carpet. So my diamonds would be so gross. I need like one of those cute little like desk vacuumers. That would have actually been very useful in this case. Just <laughs> listen to this vibey music as this chaos ensues. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it done? Every time I think like, oh, I picked them all up off the floor, I find another one. I will save the beads. That could be a t-shirt thing. Save the beads! Clean, then vacuum. That would just take too much time. This is such a chill life. <laughs> tried I really tried this chair please move chair you're in the way I really tried to have a chill ice cream I was like okay we're gonna take a bit break from our chaotic 
video game live streaming and just have a chill Friday getting back into live streaming and it'll be just so much fun. <laughs> fun though to be honest I this is fun it's just unfortunate but anyways I didn't even get to read your guys's like when I asked you guys what fun things you were doing for the weekend I literally didn't even get a chance to read it because of what just happened so if you responded um please just copy paste it back in there so I can read what fun things you guys have going on because I just was I'm just so distracted this is just gonna have to do, I think. <laughs> Watch half the live stream be me picking up these invisible sparkly beads off the ground. I'm gonna be finding this for the next week, I think. Oh. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be it. It's gonna be it. Birthday's tomorrow, so I'm going ghost hunting for the first time. Whoa, what a fun birthday activity! And also, happy birthday! I just found some more in my foot massager underneath my desk. I have a foot massager I put underneath my desk, it's in every crack and crevice of it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Anyways, happy birthday! <laughs> I wish I could go ghost hunting with you. Because that sounds so fun. Actually, didn't I make a ghost hunting video? I think I did. Yes, I did. You should check it out if you haven't. Um, but that has been my only ghost hunting experience. And sadly, nothing like super spooky happened. So if anything super spooky happens to you. Oh no, I turned it on. I turned on the foot massager. Girl, no. Don't massage the beads, please. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know if anything spooky happens to you. Also, if any of y'all have ghost stories, like spooky ghost things that have happened to you, just on a normal, regular basis, drop it in the chat, because I want to read about it. Once I'm done picking up these beads, <laughs> and I can look at the chat a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> now to pick up all the ones off my desk. I'm going... I'm just finding them in my hair now. Someone says I'm going to an escape room. That sounds so fun. Okay, also take me to that. I love a good escape room. You already know it. Um, I read a book called Ghost. Is it good? Is it scary? Maza says she read it yesterday. Literally yesterday. Okay. What, what, what a coincidence, the timing. Now we got table, floor, and massage beats. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So I don't want to push these beads off onto my floor. So now I'm trying to be so careful. Like literally, if the live stream is more of me cleaning up the beads than me actually doing the pay my numbers. It's 314. It's 314. <laughs> oh my gosh, we only have like 45 minutes max left. I told Spencer I'd get off early. Um, because he's doing a live stream at 4 today and he needs the second camera, this, the GoPro, for the live stream. <laughs> so literally, most of this is gonna be me picking up the beats. Ooh, JC says, I'm going to the mountains with my best friend. Have so much fun. Are you camping or just hiking or fishing or like... What are you doing in the mountains? Because it actually started getting warm where I live. Finally, finally started to feel a little bit like spring. And so I'm like, wow, the weather is so great outside. Like, that's all I want to be doing now. Yesterday, I spent the whole day doing yard work. And I was happy about it because that meant I was outside. <laughs> I was doing a lot of uh, tree pruning. And I'm learning about pruning trees in a gardening class. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm taking a gardening class right now for the whole year, like it's a class for the whole year. Um, and I'm filming it, but that's a work in progress video that probably won't go up to the end of the year because 
it's ongoing for multiple months. So, but I'm learning so much and it's been so helpful for putting in like a yard. Like this week we learned about different grasses, which is probably so boring to most people, <laughs> but it was so helpful for me. So it's all good things. I'm learning life skills, <laughs> leveling up in this world. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got a ghost story. Jakey Buddy is very awesome. Said, one night when I was younger, I was in a haunted bathroom at a campground once. I got out, I saw a shadow opening the door, and I said, why are you in there? It came after me. I was screaming down the road. Excuse me? What? Okay, that is so spooky. Haunted campground. That is phasmophobia level right there. Um, someone new to YouTube, Maddie, says, My dad once found out his shoes were missing, and he hasn't found them to this day. My uncle and my dad also lost on my uncle's gloves, and my dad found it months later under a bucket. Ghost? Okay, there's a ghost taking all of your clothing items. <laughs> That's weird. That is so strange. Okay. There's a lot of crazy things happening. I'm like, I like reading your guys' ghost stories. I don't think I've ever had... Actually, no, let me tell you my ghost story. My ghost story is a little, it's not that crazy, but it is very unsettling, I guess. So one time in high school, one of my best friends from um, high school, we're still like super besties to this day. I'm actually gonna see her tomorrow. Um, we love watching scary movies, right? And so we were watching like the, I think it was the Insidious, or was it the boy? I think it was the boy. We're watching the boy movie, and that's a that's a horror movie. And we were up super late at night, and she was gonna drive me back home. So we got in her car after watching the scary movie, and we were driving back. We had the radio on, and uh, so the radio guy was like talking, playing music, whatever. And then, like no one else was on the road. It was just me and her in the middle of the night, and then we heard a baby start crying, and we're like where is this baby crying from? We're like, okay, maybe it's from the radio because no one was outside. No one else was in the car. No one was outside. It was just us. So we're like, oh, we're like, this is strange. So we turned off the radio. The baby kept crying for like five seconds after the radio, We sh after we shut off the radio and then it stopped. Like, I don't know what was going on there, what was happening, but that's probably my craziest, uh, like, haunting story or whatever. <laughs> Not the radio, that's scary. I know, I know. And what's crazy is that same friend, we're actually gonna watch another horror movie tomorrow. I don't know which one it is. She just said she found one on Netflix, so we're gonna watch it. It hasn't stopped us from watching scary movies, but like that literally happened. We both heard it. It wasn't just like one of us. We both heard it. It was the strangest thing ever. So yeah, fun things, fun times for us. Oh, my desk is so dusty. Dusty gems. Um, someone just commented, when I was home alone, I heard my name being called out twice. I thought my parents walked in or came home, but they came home an hour later. No, not hearing your name in the middle of the night. That is, oh, maybe it wasn't the middle of the night, but that's, that's creepy. That is so scary. And being home alone too? No. Ugh. These gemstones are literally the death of me. <laughs> it's so annoying. I am never ever gonna spill one again. Watch that happen. <laughs> Watch it happen again. No, I'm never ever gonna spill this. If I don't get one row done by the time this live stream is over. <laughs> um. Abby says, I was on my phone one day and the computer just turned on by itself. Okay, I have something similar. Like, sometimes, like, AI, like, computer stuff act wacky. Like, for example, like, Siri and Alexa aren't supposed to be listening all the time. They're only supposed to respond to you right when you say their name or Google or whatever. Whatever AI thing you use. They're only supposed to respond when you say their name. But like, how are they only supposed to respond when 
like, okay. So they're always listening, right? They're always listening because they need to be able to hear when you say their name. But there's been multiple occasions where I'm not, I don't say their name. I'm not talking to them. I'm just talking to Spencer. And then she, she talks to me and I'm like, uh, I did not, I did not, I did not address you. Like, she's like, sorry, I can't respond to that. I'm like, I didn't ask you to like, that is creepy. What made you think I said, Hey Alexa, you know, like, mm, mm, I don't know. Sandra says, we have an Echo Dot, and it was one day, and one day I was home alone and it started talking by itself. Yeah, like, why does it do that? Um, G said, one time I was watching YouTube, and I fell asleep, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and all my electronics were somehow on my bed and turned on. They were all open to some kind of app, too. Okay, that is so weird. That is so weird. How has this happened to a lot of us? Like, how do we, how do we all have these, like, weird experiences? I don't know. I'm glad we're not alone, though. <laughs> glad I'm not the only one with weird things happening to me, but also it's not fun. Um, ooh. Okay, Maddie says, question, Audrey. Have you seen Ghost Adventures or Ghost Adventures Screaming Room? There's one episode where the ghost hunter's dad literally has a ghost in his house. What do you do then? Okay, I've never seen that before. I'll have to, like, is it on YouTube? Like, where, where do you find that? I have never heard of that before. And I don't know what I would do. <laughs> um, Stacy says, story time. It was when I was little. I was drawing like normal. And I saw my dad... I saw my dad show outside by the window. At first, I thought my dad came home. But when I ran to him, he was never there. Oh, I saw a shadow figure. Oh, oh that's so creepy. That is so creepy. Oh, I don't like that. Ay, ay, ay. He was never there. Stop. It's a TV show, actually. You, you might want to try Google. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Speaking of horror game or horror things, Spencer is playing a horror game. I don't know if it's actually a horror game. Um, a scary game, I guess. It's more of like a sneaky, like, stealth game. You guys know it. It's Hello Neighbor. Like, everyone knows what Hello Neighbor is, pretty much. I mean, it's been a game on here for a long time. Maybe you don't know it, but... Anyways, he's gonna be playing that for his live stream in, like, half an hour-ish. Um, and if you know anything about Spencer, he does not like scary things. He will not watch scary movies. He will not play scary games. He just does not enjoy that kind of stuff. And so this is gonna be his first time playing something like this because you guys voted it voted for it the last time he live streamed. <laughs> I'm so excited to watch it because I have played Hello Neighbor before and it is like it's not scary. It's just more of like intense because you're trying to like hide from the neighbor or whatever and it's like a little bit of like a jump scare and he does not like jump scares so <laughs> we'll see what he thinks of the game i think he's slowly starting to like those things maybe not like tolerate those things more um but he's still not a big fan of like spooky things but he did he does play phasmophobia in the beginning of playing Phasmophobia, he would not come out of the van. So he has taken giant steps in that department. But he's still not a fan of it. Okay, I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done picking up these beads. Finally! Praise hallelujah! Please, no more of these stinking beads. I am so over this bag. I'm sealing this bag never to be opened up again. You're done. You're done. <laughs> okay, we can get back to our cozy craft. Diamond art. And let's hope we don't spill it again. I will literally end the live stream if that happens. <laughs> Imagine you spill them again. No, please, we don't need that energy. We don't need that energy. Um, where was I? <laughs> Let's regroup here. I like how this, the whole time this has been going, this has been happening, I just had this chill music in the background. This was the right color, right? A16. 
I would be so sad if I just spilled the wrong color for nothing. Anyways, it would be so funny. <laughs> it probably would be so funny, but it would not be fun to pick up. <laughs> How do you guys get these diamond pieces in a straight line? Like mine are so wavy. And I'm kind of like a little bit of a, I'm not like a super big perfectionic, perfectionist, perfectionist, perfectionistic. You guys get what I'm saying. But like, I am, I do pay attention to the details. Like, I, I do want this to look good. Like I want to be able to hang it up when I'm done. I did not do all that work for nothing. Let me just say, even though I haven't even done a row yet. <laughs> what happened to Gertie and Therma's room? Okay, so their room under the stairs is currently filled with storage things. <laughs> um, I have all of Gertie and Therma's things at my house currently and like all their clothes and props and stuff. I have all their stuff. We did not get rid of Gertie and Therma but their room is currently being occupied as storage. So that's why we haven't filmed in there. Also, because Dren's gone at college, it's a little bit harder to film those skits. And we've all like, I don't know, we've all grown up so much within the past couple of years. I, ha I get a lot of comments. I get a lot of comments on my videos, my shorts, and live streams asking to bring back the bandits and all of our super fun skits, which I love, like uh, the villains, the bandits, the, the doll maker. And I don't wanna like set anything in stone, but I don't know if we will bring them back. Like I think, I think that chapter, as sad as it is to say, I think it might be closed because we all, we've all grown up so much. And you guys have grown up. Jordan's moved out of the house. I'm married. Jake's gonna be leaving for his mission in a um, couple of months, like over the summer, he's gonna leave for two years. And so, and it wouldn't be the same. Like if we filmed the bandits now, it's not gonna be the same as it was when we were a lot younger. Like it just wouldn't have the same feel. And so, I don't know. I'm so torn on that. I love, those are like our skits, like one of the things we're most known for, but we're a lot older now and it's just the vibe would be different. It wouldn't be the same. So, a little sad, but it was a fun chapter of our life. <laughs> and I hope you still enjoy the content that we're making now. Anyway, we, we finished that color finally. Let me show you our progress. That's our progress so far. We're gonna move on to the next speed, which is triangle um, A12. I know a lot of people are <laughs> Why does this seem like a crying moment? No, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. You know what, the, the happy part about that is they're, it's not gone from YouTube. Like you will always be able to watch those videos again. You will always have that. Um, and we have so many episodes, so many series. So it's not like it's disappearing. Like you'll be always be able to rewatch and relive those mo moments. Um, but yeah, there's probably no new ones. I, again, not saying anything since Stone, but my family, we have talked about it and It'd just be so much harder. To, oh, I almost spilled it again. It would just be so much harder to do it now. And it would be kind of weird because we're all so much older. It's not like we started doing these skits when we were little, right? We were little kids or um, we were just a lot younger. And now Ty is, how old is he? He's going to be turning 15. He's going to be, he's going to be learning how to drive. So it's not the same. It's not the same vibe, <laughs> you know? But I'm always gonna rewatch them because that was a fun, that was a fun part of our YouTube journey. So I've been watching since Ty had a cast on his hand. Yeah, that was so long ago. Yeah, Ty had a cast on his hand. He also broke his collarbone. That was a long time ago. Thanks for watching our videos for that long. That's awesome. A 16. 
my nemesis. I'm <laughs> so done with that color. You're done. You're out of here. Um, what did I say was the next color? A12. What color is A12? What do we think? None of the blues. Do we think it's not the white? Ooh, it's this pretty dark green right here. Please don't spill it. <laughs> Guys, we need to channel some good energy right now. We need to channel some good energy. Please. <laughs> but <laughs> please, if this spills, I'm literally handing the live stream. <laughs> I need scissors. I'm sweating even more now. I don't know if you guys can tell. My face, my face is so red. I get flustered really, like when I have, when I'm like super nervous, um, or like when I like work out and I, um, sweat, I get red so quickly and it's like tomato red. Like, you can't even hide it. Do I have scissors in here? I do! Also, let me show you something so cursed. Okay, if you watch today's video on the Audrey and Spencer channel, you will know, you will recognize this. <laughs> it is so cursed, but I kept it. If you don't know what this is, you gotta watch that video. You, it was so funny. It was my favorite part of the video. Spencer currently has his in his office. Um, hanging up on display. <laughs> Let me know if you watched the video, if that was your favorite part or what your favorite part was. <laughs> um. Ooh, Sandra said, is Jake going to do a video about the mission he's going on? I don't know. I don't know, um, what his plans are. Um, he doesn't make, like, regular YouTube videos. He just does the live streams on Fridays, as you guys know. So I don't know if he's gonna do like a sit down video or if we'll just do like a video on the family channel um, of him like getting ready to leave and all that. We haven't really planned it. He just barely started like preparing his papers um, to be submitted for it. So, okay, I cannot spill this. I cannot, someone hold it for me. Someone please take this away from me. I'm so, oh girl, I'm putting it right there. But yeah, I don't know. Yes, everyone's saying, wait, Jake's going on a mission? Yes, he is, he's 18, he's gonna be turning 19 this year. Isn't that insane? Isn't that so insane? Did I just find another bead? I, I swear I heard another bead in the crack of my chair. <laughs> um, yeah, but he's probably gonna be leaving towards like the end of summer, we're thinking. Well, we'll have to see. It's not set in stone, though. Um, okay. Dark green, it's your time to shine. I'm trying to read the comments while I do this. <laughs> it's a little hard. But we're almost done with our first row. We literally might have only gotten done one row. How do people do this so fast? How fast, like, how long does this take you guys to do? Am I just slow? Maybe because I spilled it. And so that takes way longer. <laughs> as soon as I thought I was, like, getting good at this by doing, like, the seven at a time method, I was like, wow, such a pro. I end up spilling it everywhere. I got humbled real quick. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Anyways, let me talk about why I haven't been live streaming for a while, <laughs> in case you um, didn't know. So for the past two weeks, well, for spring break, for spring break um, for Spencer, we actually ended up going to Arizona. Um, because our goal is to go to all 63 U.S. national parks someday, so it's a pretty big goal. We've been to about 20. 
Um, so we have like 40-ish more to go. And there are three located in Arizona, the Grand Canyon, Saguaro National Park, and Petrified Forest. And we've both been to Grand Canyon before, but not together, and we haven't been to the other two. So we did those over spring break. That's why I wasn't live streaming, because we left the Thursday and then came back. We were there for like nine days, so it overlapped two Fridays. Okay, I have one more left on this row. It's an arrow. One minute. Let me find the arrow. A9. Okay, so we did a road trip since we live in Utah. We can drive down there, which was nice. We stayed in some super cute uh, tiny homes and some hotels. We went to the national parks. We also went and saw the world's best preserve meteor crater, which was really cool. Um, that's just right outside of Petrified Forest. And then we went to a place that I've always wanted to be That was actually the main reason why we went, ended up going to Arizona is because Spencer planned this for my birthday back in October. Um, and that is Antelope Canyon. I've always wanted to be there because I love rocks and I love like those kind of formations if you've ever seen. If you just Google what Antelope Canyon looks like, I ugh, like it's like a little, it's like a beautiful curvy slot canyon. And it was, it was beautiful when we went there, but it was not as I expected because we went on a day that was very rainy and cloudy. And so it was dark. It was not like the beautiful bursts of rays that you see in the pictures, but it was still so beautiful. And I would recommend everyone to like go and see it. Um, but that video is going up the first Friday in April too. But yeah, I just love road trips and traveling. It's so fun. So that's why I wasn't that's why I wasn't here. Okay, what was this? What was this color? A12. Okay. A12 in the bag. What color did I say I need to grab? A9. Okay, let's find A9 and Oh, more of that brown gem fell out. That thing is so cursed. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be literally finding that for ages. I just better keep this bag on my desk because I will be finding this in my free time. Spill it. No, we are not spilling this again. No, 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 no. No, thank you. A9. Where is A9? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to spill it on purpose, but if it ends up spilling on accident, a tease, but a tease. All right, we only like literally need two. This is such a beautiful green though. It's giving St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> How do you feel about Jordy's blind day? Oh, that video was so insane. Insane. Like that was such a cool date. So if you guys didn't know, Jordan went on a $5,000 date. Let's just let that sink in for a minute. Um, it was a blind date. So she didn't know the person she was going on the date with, but they did such fun things. Like they rode in a helicopter. They, um, they went to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. They had like a fancy car they rode in. They did so many cool things anyways. They had like a thousand dollar shopping for their for each other's clothes budget. Like, yeah, $5,000, yeah. So it was a $5,000, what? Yeah, I was, I was so shook. And she didn't know it was gonna be a $5,000 date too. It could have been a $5 date. It was completely random. So yeah, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, all I'm saying is I don't think I will be able to ever go on a $5,000 date unless someone else is sponsoring that for me. <laughs> a little bit out of my budget, but what a cool opportunity. And she got to do with such cool people. Um, so if you haven't checked out their video, go check it out. I loved watching it. It was so funny. And you got to see all the date perspectives because there was like a $5 date, $50 date. $500 day and then a $5,000. Oh, guys, we did it. We completed our first row. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here. Let me show you what it looks like. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. Wow, so shiny. Wow. Do you see the like two light green dots? <laughs> I got so much work done. Um, I love the proposal in Jordan's video. People thought it was real. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that would have been so awkward. Like if that happened to me, I would literally not know what to do. <laughs> the people in the back, they're like, whoa, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Jordan was like, <laughs> yes. Oh no, I just thought that part was so funny. Yeah, she got proposed to at the end of the video. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep doing a couple more and then we might have to end soon so that Spencer can get the GoPro for me for his live stream. But anyways, it looks like one color. Yeah, unfortunately. It does look like one color, but it's like, like four colors I put in there. <laughs> it's all like neutrals though. It's like all nature colors. So it blends in. Um, but what was I going to say? This weekend, Spencer and I are filming a super fun video. That has been trending recently. Oh, you might have seen a couple people do it where they try the worst rated restaurants in their city. So we filmed that right before this live stream. We went to our first one and it is so much fun. Um, so we're doing two of them today and two of them tomorrow for lunch and dinner. And I kind of want to do more. Like I want to do more of like trying the worst rated blank. So if you guys have any ideas, what other worst rated things should I try? Because it's kind of a fun series. Okay, was this... This was A9, I think. Oh, that was not a good nine, but there we are. <laughs> worst rated stores. Worst rated hotels. That could be bad because of like bed bugs and like if they didn't clean it well. Okay, wait, I gotta write these down. Worst rated hotels. <laughs> no! Worst rated hair salon. Worst rated cars and best rated restaurants. Okay, worst rated stores. Worst rated hair salon. Worst rated hiking trails? Actually, that could be funny. That would be funny. Very up my alley, too. Worst rated amusement parks? That one we'd have to fly. Worst rated Airbnb. Worst rated arcades. Amazon, Amazon products. Worst rated Amazon products. <laughs> also, speaking of Amazon products, Amazon is having their spring day sale, if you guys didn't know. Um, it goes to Monday. So if there's anything that you've been needing to restock or anything that you've been like interested in, just letting y'all know a lot of places are having their spring sales currently. So if you need some shopping retail therapy, now is the time to do it. <laughs> um, okay, what color should we do next? I think we might have to unfortunately bring back the cursed color that spilled everywhere. I think that's a A16. Oh, uh, we do. We have to bring back this color. <laughs> Worst rated geocaches. Can you rate geocaches? I don't think you can. But that'd be kind of fun if you could rate them. Okay, I'm only doing a few to not spill them. Fluffy the Sheep said, no, I'm late to the live. Well, okay, Fluffy the Sheep, welcome to the live stream. And all I'm saying is you have to go back and watch what happened earlier, particularly with this bag. You have to. <laughs> it was a tragedy. It was a tragedy. Okay, I've got a couple. Should be good. How long does this stuff last for, by the way? Like, do I have to finish this diamond art painting quickly? Or am I good? 
Also, I feel like there's more beads stuck in like this somewhere. <laughs> this clipboard is humongous. Um, I am going to... I am going to swap so I can read your comments better. There we go. Okay. There we are. Let's keep on going. Once again, if you're crafting with me while during this live stream, be sure to take a picture of your craft and tag me on Instagram so I can see it. Because it's fun when we, like, get to do chill stuff like this together, so. You're gonna be finding beads for months. Oh, I know. It's engraved in my carpet. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna be like, oh, what was this from? And then I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> I've seen some people bedazzle like their, um, their water bottles and other cool things. Like they just start bedazzling everything. And I always wondered how they do it. I think it's this tool. This tool is so nice. What are some songs you've been listening to recently? I have been listening to a lot of songs um, because of the road trip. Like literally, we would be in the car for like six hours at a time. Uh, they were long travel days because we went from the top of Utah to the bottom of Arizona. Not in one day, but like total. And from like the top of Utah to the bottom of Utah is like seven maybe eight hours it's probably about seven ish hours um and same with arizona from the top of arizona to the bottom and so i've been listening to a lot of music on the road and most of it is like probably i'd say like folk genre like think like noah kahan kind of stuff um But we've been listening, one of Spencer's favorite artists that he discovered on TikTok was, what's his name? Livingston. Um, I think he's more of like a smaller artist, but he's gaining a lot of traction. And I just have curiosity. I looked up if he was doing tours and he is touring and he is coming to Utah and his tickets were cheap. Like, they weren't even that expensive. And so, literally, right on a whim, I decided to get us tickets to go see him. So, we'll be doing that. And I'm so excited for it. So, we've been listening. Because he just came out with a new album. And it's really good. Um, so, if you need music recommendations, check out Livingston's new album. And I know Spencer's super excited about it. So, it'll be fun. We're actually planning on going to two concerts this summer so far. It'd be his and then an AJR concert. Because Spencer got me tickets to go see AJR for Christmas. And you guys know that AJR is one of my favorite bands. So super excited. We have so many fun plans for this summer. Um, so I'm just excited for the weather to stay warm and to go outdoors more and... Yeah, it'll be good. Oh, yay! Eva says, I love Livingston. Yeah, it's, his music is so good. I wasn't like, I didn't really know about him that much. Um, the only, like, because I got into his music through Spencer because Spencer was listening um, to him from TikTok. That's how he discovered him. And now we both love to listen to him. So it's been good. It's always fun, like, having an, an, an artist that you can like share your love for with someone else. So then you can like listen to them together and stuff. So, but Spencer and I kind of have different music tastes. Like I like the more like chill, like literally if I open up my Spotify day list right now, let me show you what it is. It's probably like, let me think, chill, 
outdoor campfire Friday afternoon. Like, literally, that's probably what it is, because that's kind of, like, what I listen to. But except today might be, like, a live stream. I don't know. I either listen to... Okay, what? I either listen to, like, meme songs, like, very weird songs, or I listen to, like, folk, like, chill music. Except for today? What even? Okay, this is abnormal. This is abnormal, guys. I... What even is this? My day list today is upbeat country, 4th of July, Friday afternoon. Here, I'm gonna show the camera. Um, what? First of all, I don't really listen to country. 4th of July, that is so random. And as I'm scrolling through these playlists, like the songs on here, I don't even like listen to these kind of things. So Spotify is off. They are off. <laughs> that is so random. What does your guys' Spotify day list say right now? Like, sometimes it's so accurate, and then sometimes I'm like, where did you even come up with that? I don't know, it's so funny, but yeah, I like listening to that kind of stuff, and then Spencer likes listening to more, like, rock kind of stuff. meme songs whoa yeah okay i've got to explain the meme songs so <laughs> that's my okay <laughs> how do i even explain the meme songs okay okay i finished that color meme songs so as you know my me spencer and my brothers we all take taekwondo three times a week and <sighs> On our way to Taekwondo, every time we listen to like meme songs, and I'll, I'll give you some examples because that's what that's what we all like to listen together because it's silly and funny and it hypes us up for Taekwondo. Don't ask why. Don't ask why. It's just silly. So let me share some of the examples that we listen to. Um, on repeat. Let's go to my on repeat. Do I even want to show this? I think I have to at this point. I think I have to show this. Okay. Um. Okay, let me show you it. So, first of all, this was my Spotify top song last year. Stick Season, right? Okay, normal song, normal song. Third song on my on repeat is Floor Grape by Soupy Garbage Juice. This is not my fault, okay? This is not my fault. This is my brother's fault, Ty, because he would play this song every single time that we got in the car to drive to Taekwondo. And it gets stuck in your head, and now I listen to it without him, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Okay, also on that list, let's see. Well, we have Putting on the Ritz on there because that's just our Taekwondo song that we play every time. It has nothing to do with karate or anything like that. Oh, Ty's calling me right now. <laughs> Hi, Ty. Hello. Hi, you're on, you're on camera. You want to stream? You want to say anything? Will you play Phasmophobia with us? Oh, sure. Wait, when are you five? streaming? At five? Sure, I'll play with you. Um, also, do you have anything to say about listening to Floor Grape for everyone? I'm talking about Floor Grape right now. Uh, wait, what about it? Is that your favorite song? No. Oh, well, didn't you show me it? Hey, Audrey. Hi, say hi to the live. What's up, live? <laughs> You guys look outside see a refrigerator in the air. You know what time it is. Oh, Minecraft. I was like, refrigerator in the air. That's so I'm random. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I was just telling everyone, Ty, how we listen to Floor Grape. We listen to Big Chungus. Yeah, search that one in Spotify. Search Big Chungus. My stick from Bad Lip Reading. Like, those kind of things. That's... 
just meme songs. We we have this playlist I found on Spotify called Crazy Songs for Crazy Kids, right? Isn't that what it's called? Or is it Silly Songs for Silly Kids? Crazy songs for crazy kids. Crazy songs for crazy kids. We literally listen to everything on there. So if you have free time and you're bored, go check it out. <laughs> no one knows about this, and now everyone knows. It has some interesting songs. It does have some interesting songs. Okay, anyways, yeah, Spencer is going to be live streaming from 4 to 6. Do you still want to live stream at 5 and have me come on? Well, Spencer live streaming. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> um, let me ask Jake. Okay. Okay, well, text me. I'll play Phasmophobia with you guys. Just let me know. But um, okay. I'm going to end my live stream so Spencer can get his ready. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> That was such a weird coincidence how he called me right when we were talking about him. Like, and he didn't even call me because he was watching the live stream. Like, what in the world? Big Chungus, Big Chungus. <laughs> That's what someone's commenting. Yeah, you guys gotta watch, you guys gotta listen to those songs if you're bored or you're in a silly mood. Anyways, thanks for joining today's live stream. We literally got one row done of our diamond paint. I had a such a cozy chaotic time with y'all <laughs> but i hope you like um i hope you like these like switch up in live streams um it's kind of fun to do something other than a video game even though i do love my gaming uh but make sure to go watch spencer's live stream he's gonna hop on on the audrey and spencer channel check out our video that we posted today to see what this is all about and then go check out the jake and ty channel um, where we're going to be playing apparently Phasmophobia. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I love talking to you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.